Okay, this is surgery number two for the skills. We're going to start with the Mirren Explorer. And we are going to be extracting number 31 today. We'll need anesthetic, which is topical anesthetic first. And then we'll need the yellow syringe for the longer needle. We'll let the patient set about 10 minutes. And then we need to get the Explorer back. We want to make sure that they are truly numb. The dentist will poke around on the gum tissue to make sure that they're numb. If the patient is good, we're going to use periosteal elevator. That's to break the PDL, separate the gum tissue from the tooth. Then we're going to start elevating the tooth. So we'll go through a series of elevators. We need the small straight, and we'll go through the medium straight elevator, and then the large straight elevator. By now the tooth should be loose in its socket where when we use the forceps the tooth should come right out. Make sure that you have the right forceps. In this case the handle should be pointing down as well as the end so you can take the tooth out. Take the tooth out. The assistant will have a piece of gauze so that the tooth goes right into it. And we're going to use the curette to make sure that everything is gone in that socket. With surgery number two, I found a piece of root that is broken off, so I need the root tip pick, and that's going to dig it out. At this point, we may need the suction, so the assistant should grab the HVE surgical suction. Remember that this one is the stainless steel suction. Then we'll go back to the curette. We want to make sure it's out of there. Then we are all good, and we'll need a piece of gauze, fold it up in half and in half again. The patient will bite down on it to stop the bleeding, and you're going to give the same instructions. No smoking for 48 hours, no spitting or sucking out of a straw for 24 hours. And that is surgery two for skills.